We're back with the Super Game Ghouls. I'm Nate. I'm on sticks. Yo, I'm Ben. I'm on the bones for this one. This is, um, well, it's Panzer Paladin. I haven't played it yet, even though you bought it for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right, dude. Dude, this game's sick. The music's it's, sick. It is. And it's also a game that I thought could use a little loving. Uh, we're officially content creators now. Yeah. Yep. Which I want to make a little Panzer Paladin content. I freaking love this game. Hell yeah. Yeah, I still haven't played it. I have no idea what it is. Um, I'm an asshole because it was a gift. <laughs> well, it was only like five bucks or something. I got it on sale. So. Word. I mean, that works for this because I have absolutely no idea what we're about to what we're about to do. I never even showed it to you. No. Uh-uh. Ah, oh, nice. I think you're for a treat, dude. Hell yeah. Is it like is it like Mega Man? Yes. OK. It's like Melee Mega Man. OK, so Castlevania. Sort of. Mm hmm. OK. Uh, the display filter. So I was thinking about this earlier. Do you ever use the display filters like for CRT and shit? Fuck no, dude. Keep that shit off. That's what I'm saying. Does anybody actually like turn this on and go, oh, man, that's what it used to look like. Dude, somebody for, somebody does. For me, it's like I was a little kid. I don't remember it looking like garbage. I remember it looking awesome. Right. Exactly. So I, I don't want the garbage <laughs> filter, you know? Yeah. My bad about Mozzie, dude. She barking. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're on the same page with the filter. I figured we would be, but. Yeah, dude, fuck that fucking filter. You just have to be like, I guess, like if you're like older and like remember, like if you were in your 20s or something and remember CRTs. But it's like, I don't know, I just have like those rose tinted nostalgia glasses, dude. Dude, I remember CRTs. Mm. But I don't yeah, think I, do it, too. I don't think it offers this any sort of benefit, you know? Yeah, exactly. It actually did for old graphics like NES or Super Nintendo or whatever, because it like, you know how when you emulate those games, the pixels are really sharp mm -hmm. and that sort of makes it look like shit. But yeah, the CRT screens like blended all that shit together and it actually looked better on original hardware than like HD, you know, emulation. True. But in this True. case, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is like a new game. Um, yeah, it's only a couple years old. Yeah, it's just made to look retro. So, right. All right, I'm going to jump in. Yep. Had to clear out that old uh, that old game. Get it nice and fresh. Fresh new game. Feeling fresh, feeling loose. <laughs> uh, story. Classic or remix, which is locked. So I guess we'll go classic. Classic. Looks like Speed Racer. Now, this is one where I might go hard, dude. Dude, you, are you feeling hard? Because, you know, is it going to be really hard? <laughs> I mean, it might be. And we can always change it back to normal if it's like ridiculous. But I have beat this game once already. Have you beat it on hard? No, beat how, it on normal. How long ago did you play it? Like a year and a half. <laughs> Just play it on normal. Right. I don't need to see the, the same way you said with Dead Space. I don't need to see that punishment right now because I've never played this. OK, for sure. Very normal. Very normal. Never easy, though. Fuck that. I actually thought about restarting Dead Space on hard and getting to where we are, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we missed a cutscene. Is there an intro? Dude, I think there is. But whatever. It looks pretty dope. Dude, it is dope, dude. All right, so I got this big. I'm in a big ass robot. Uh huh. So the robot is big. Yep. It looks I feel so like small. we missed a we missed a cutscene, but yeah, it's like a Gundam. It's a big robot, and uh, basically. Like aliens are invading and they're sending down like weapons, like mm -hmm. swords and shit. OK. And uh, only my Gundam can use the weapons that they're sending down. Oh, nice. So it's like you use the weapons against them, you know? Mm hmm. And then you got to fight the aliens, dude. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, that's what they do in Terminator. They use the weapons against them. Except Probably there's no the big rat. There's. I'm surprised there's no mech suits in Terminator. Honestly, I am a pretty big mech suit fan. You know, I'm lukewarm on mech suits, dude. I mean, it's sort of cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't like anime that much. I do like some anime, but but not really, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's another road where we differ, because I'm pretty big on anime. I mean, I do like it, but uh, once it gets into that, like, annoying weeb territory, which is, like, a lot of it, I feel like, maybe not. <laughs> but I guess that might be the mainstream stuff. But, yeah, I don't know. I can't I can't really deal with that. Like, when we were playing Ano, you know, if anybody ever sees that, what was that game called? Ano. I don't mutation them. Yeah. If anybody ever sees that, which turns out to be a review that we just did a few episodes of it, there's like a really annoying like anime chick. It was too much for me. This, so this is, is the best part of the game, dude. Yeah. You pop out. Yep. And you're this girl. Her name's Flame, I think. Mm hmm. She's got power wit. Oh, OK. Like Castlevania. Mm hmm. This is this is Mega Man Castlevania. And not only is it a whip, it's a grappling hook. dude. Holy shit. That's tight. Refilled my mech's health, got through the little puzzle, summoned my mech again. There is a, a game for NES, like where you're in a mech and you can pop out sometimes to solve puzzles. I forget what it's called, but it recently no, I Go ahead. It recently got a sequel. I can't remember either. <laughs> Dude, I could have sworn when I first saw this game, I was like, oh, that must be a I thought it was that game. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, man, it must be like a spiritual successor or like a fan, you know, a love letter to that. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been able to find that game or figure out what that game is. <laughs> That's funny. I, I just found this and I've just been playing this, but I could have sworn there was a game where you got out of a mech suit. There is. I forget what it's called, too. But it looks pretty dope. <laughs> what? What? OK, so you got spells. Uh, so, yeah, so every so I, these are the weapons I've been picking up. Uh huh. So, you know, I got a hockey stick, a hockey stick. Yeah, though. So the weapons that the aliens send down are kind of like goofy sometimes. Oh, OK, um, I got a hockey stick. I got like a. Spear. I don't know what that is. It's a, a spear. spear, a big old club and um. Yeah, you basically you can attack with them. Mm -hmm. You can throw them. Hmm. Or I don't remember what the button is to do it. I don't think I think it'll tell me, but you can break the weapon and cast the spell. Oh, OK. So in this one, in the club's case, it's a large heal, small heal, deflect. Um, so, you know, you and then yeah, I, I had to pick a weapon to put in here to uh, checkpoint. OK. So I had to sacrifice a weapon. So this game's a lot about weapon management. It's like Breath of the Wild. Mm hmm. Don't get attached to your hockey stick because you're going to plunge it into a thing to save. Exactly. That bar on the top right underneath the spell, that's its um, durability. OK. Huh. A weird amalgamation of gameplay. Mm hmm. So is it just is it like. Is it like point A to point B or is there like more nuance to it? Uh, so this is like the tutorial level. Okay. Uh, once it opens up, it's like Mega Man where like you pick up, you pick a zone. Mm -hmm. But the zones themselves are linear. Yeah. OK. That's good. I don't know if I was in the mood for a Metroid uh, Mega Man Breath of the Wild Vania. Mm. Yeah, I tried playing uh, Hollow Knight recently and I really liked it, but I just wasn't in the mood for map checking. Yeah, that's that's a bitch. Oh, shit, that guy scared away all my weapons. He scared away all your weapons. Yeah. OK. <laughs> all right. So it's the triggers. So they just want you to use this thing. Huh. Well, that was a spell. AOE. Get me there. Get the knife. Knives. If we we're playing Ghosts and Goblins, the only thing you would ever want is the knife. 
Okay, you got shield action like in Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. Yep. Yep, you always have your shield out. You got some uh, backdash action. Nice. Shit. Does it like turn into a bullet hell or anything? Um, or not it... really. It's it's a platformer. Okay. It's not like enter the dungeon. No, not at all. Okay. Shit! 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 Shit. Yeah, they, actually, now that I'm seeing it, it's a, it's the most like Zelda 2. <laughs> Are there like towns that you go in and like talk to dudes? Nah, there's a home base like um, like a hub or like cutscenes, And uh, um, a little bit of like weapon management stuff. Mm hmm. Um. Are there like le no. legendary weapons and shit? Uh, sort of, kind of. The bosses drop like unique weapons that are usually pretty cool. Mm. But just like Breath of the Wild, they break and are mm -hmm. gone forever. So. Uh, but yeah, this would be a perfect time because the dagger sucks. Durability up is a sucky spell and mm. I need something to put in this checkpoint. So yep. fuck this dagger. Plunge it in, dude. Now you're going to fight Metal Gear. Oh, no, it's a uh, oh, Wendigo. OK. It doesn't. OK. Dude. <laughs> the twist. Dude, the twist. I thought the twist was the Wendigo. Oh, it's a centaur. <laughs> the horseman. Is it a, is it an organic horseman? Yeah, he's like an alien. Oh, OK. Shit. Just didn't fit with what we were seeing so far. <laughs> he is sort of like a mysterious character. He's from space. Mm hmm. But uh, I don't want to get too spoilery, sure. but he's sort of like the zero to this game's Mega Man. OK. He's recurring. I fucked up there because my weapon broke and I didn't use it to heal. Yeah, that's the strat, isn't it? To use the mm -hmm. skill before it breaks. So you got to get him above his shield. You got to mix ups, dude. This is mix ups the game. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Didn't get my ass beat. Much less footsies than it is mix ups. Maybe a little footsies, dude. There, I got him. Hell yeah. Metal Gear. Do a little pop off at the end. Is that your ship? I don't know if there is story to this tutorial level. If that's my ship. I guess it is my ship. Now that I'm thinking about it. So the mech has to come from somewhere. I, I keep, now we're getting story. I keep trying to think of that game for the NES. I can't. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good cutscene animation. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. It's like a Battletoads cutscene. These weapons are coming from space. So they're just sending down weapons. But not yeah, they, guns. They act as portals for the enemy troops. Oh. Huh. Well, they're space aliens, dude. They don't use guns. I would think that space aliens would definitely use guns. <laughs> the, I think these are more like space demons. Mm, OK. Making more sense. Like, I don't think that they're like from another planet so much as they're like an evil force out in the galaxy. Mm hmm. And they just happen to use swords and shit. Nice. And you know, uh, that's the human ingenuity is what made the mech. Uh huh. That's what makes us different, dude. If the aliens had guns, then we'd be screwed. 
Do we have guns, though? I think they're ineffective. They're ineffective. OK, well, I mean, that's convenient. The only thing that really hurts them are their own weapons. OK. That fist squeeze. Mm hmm. That anime mullet. I know it's awesome. What is it? What is it? Is that what it is? An anime mullet? I only see that shit in anime. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's definitely like an 80s thing, but. Oh, yeah, like an 80s thing. Turned anime. All right, dude. So which uh, which country should we do? Um. Is there like a meta that you're aware of? Like in Mega Man, like go here first or, you know. So it's like I wish the weapons didn't have durability. I mean, I like the system for what it is, but like when you get a boss weapon, I wish it was special and you kept it. And then it did like it was like Mega Man and it did something to another boss. Mm -hmm. It's just another weapon that looks cool. Maybe it has a, a good spell, but it's going to break. It has one use for its spell. Mm -hmm. um, so bosses don't have like a weakness to uh, any particular weapon or anything. So it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. Uh, I do remember when I played that I think some levels were harder than others. Right. But I don't fucking care. Um, what was that ghoulie looking dude? It was a ghoulie looking boy up to up, up. This guy? No, a little up, up. Oh, this that, guy. That guy. Japan. Japan yeah. The, right. the Gasha do the dark. The, Gasha yeah. Dakuro. Yeah, that's a hard to read font. The <laughs> Gasha Dakuro. Yep. Go get him. Yeah, that's your shit, dude. Nice. I never, never even noticed that. All right. Nothing to the left. Always got to check. Is that what is that on a knife, a sword? Yeah, dude, it's like a single edge sword. OK. What is usually deflect? the weapons are um, themed? OK. Was deflect you say? Yeah. What does deflect do? Uh, I think. Dude, that, that guy turned into a fucking ninja log. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it makes me reflect shit back okay. for a set amount of time. Nice. That guy turned into a ninja log till you killed his real form. Yeah, those guys are tight. Yeah, this game's sick. Parts Zelda 2, parts Castlevania, parts Mega Man. Platforming feels very Mega Man to me. Mm hmm. Yeah, is it just like you just jump? Yeah, there's no like uh, hold down to go faster or anything. My hope is they make a sequel to this game and it has SNES graphics. Mm hmm. That would they be just tight. Keep going. That would be tight. Oh, damn, that thing's fucked up. Yeah, they're pretty spooky, dude. I think Japanese horror is like pretty disturbing. Pretty good horror. Mm hmm. See, I got a katana. OK. Oh, Dude, shit. death blocks. You ever see those like clips of those Japanese game shows where they just I don't know. I guess literally any Japanese game show <laughs> yeah, where everybody just gets the shit scared out of them somehow or whatever. Mm hmm. Dude, I fucking love Japanese game shows. My favorite is the my favorite one I've ever seen um, 
is they they go into a room. I don't know if they're celebrities or whoever, but someone goes into a room and something in the room is made out of chocolate. Mm hmm. But they can only check with their mouth. Mm -hmm. And I'm not 100 percent sure what all the rules are, but I think <laughs> that you can only check like a couple times mm -hmm. before you're out. Interesting. And there's a really good clip of this guy like sniffing this doorknob. And then he takes like a, he finally like clenches his teeth onto it. <laughs> and then he takes a big bite out of it and it's chocolate. Oh, damn. That is hype. That's hype. All right, dude, here's platforming. Nice. Shit, shit! Damn. Dude, celebrated too soon. Man, these things are assholes. They wait till I'm there to shoot. Medium heal. Yeah, you should heal, dude. Get that chicken hawk! Yeah, I'm dude. Alright, fuck. Fuck! <laughs> Damn, that didn't heal very much at all, did it? The medium heal, dude. Yeah, this looks pretty hard. What's that guy? Oh, you just kill him. Get fucked, duck man. <laughs> uh, geez. So there's a boss in every level. I uh, so that room. I think if I remember correctly, every level there's a chance you might fight the horseman. Hmm. Um, but apparently I didn't have to that time. Um, and then yeah, there's a boss at the end. So, is there multiple stages to a level, or do you just go through this one? I don't remember. Because they can be pretty long. Yeah. Those things freak me out. <laughs> it's very faith, like that game Faith. Mm-hmm. That's Dude, we got to check out Faith too. We do. I didn't get very far in that one. Is Faith 2 still like Atari style graphics? Yeah. Yep. Lots of Atari fart sounds going on. <laughs> it's like disturbing imagery. <laughs> yeah, that game gave me nightmares more than uh, modern horror games. Faith was fucked up. But Atari 2600 always freaked me out. Even like games that aren't meant to be scary. Like uh, when I was a kid, my grandparents had an Atari 2600 so that's, you know, I'd play it when we'd go over there. I don't know what it is about the sound effects, but it always freaked me out. Like, I would never play, even as an adult, I don't think I would ever play Atari 2600 just like alone in the dark. I'm trying to remember, I used to play Joust. Joust is tight. And, oh shit. Alright, so now I just have to play as the girl. Okay, so what's the difference in the... You have very little health, very little health. And uh, I can't, you know, I I'm only limited to, to your whip, my whip. It looks like it was time to play as her anyway, though. Oh, yeah. Hmm. How you refill the health on your Mac? Oh, shit, dude. Next time on Game Ghouls. Damn, next time. Next time. Fuck. We All finish right. up uh, Gashuro Duko's, uh Yeah, we're going to fuck him up, dude. Fuck that fucking skeleton asshole. <laughs> All right. Peace. Peace.